after carefully monitoring the orientation in which the dipoles of water molecules surround the solute particles, which choice below best represents the true nature of how magnesium nitrate exists in an aqueous solution. Okay, so first, um, what does aqueous solution mean? So let's see what are actually in this magnesium nitrate aqueous solution. Okay, magnesium nitrate, so that's a, an ionic compound. Once it dissolves in water, we should see magnesium 2 plus ion, nitrate an ion, okay? So, of course, from one magnesium nitrate formula, we should expect one magnesium 2 plus cation and two, two nitrate an ion. And, of course, we should also have water Plenty, plenty, because that's the solvent, all right? Okay, and if you recall, water is a molecular geometry. It's a bent geometry, all right? So it's a bent, and those OH, OH bonds are polar bonds, so therefore water molecule definitely has a dipole. So this is a uh, negative, partial negative end, and those are the partial positive ends, all right? Okay, now let's take a look at those choices. A, okay, so now what do we see? We see a nitrate anion, and we see magnesium 2 plus cation, and we see another nitrate. Okay, so one magnesium Cate ion and two nitrate ion, then plenty of water. Good. But let's take a look the line up, the arrangement. Okay. Nitrate, that's an ion, negative one charge. And that should attract the positive end of the water molecule. All right? So then, therefore, you can see the H, 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 all of the H's are closer to nitrate, not the O, not the oxygen, all right? Because the oxygen is the partial negative end. And now look at magnesium 2 plus. Since magnesium 2 plus, that's a cation, then it lined up or, you know, get closer or attract to the, um, attracted to the uh, um, negative end of the polar water molecule, all right? Okay, and here the nitrate is the same as here. So therefore, A, so far, everything looks good to me. But let's just keep looking, uh, check out the other choices. So B here, you see, we have a nitrate. Okay, that's good. But look at the line up, the arrangement. That's negative, nitrate is negative, and then those O, oxygen, and that's also negative. Even though they are partially negative, they should repel each other. There's no way they should line up this way. We don't even need to look at the others, okay? So, B is O. C, okay. Nitrate, when it dissolves in water, it should form NO3 minus, singly charged, negative the charged an ion. There should not be NO3, then 2, then 2 plus. So that one, C, is also incorrect because of that. Now D. You see, the way it presents here is magnesium nitrate is a precipitate. No. Magnesium nitrate is soluble in water. Remember the solubility rules, nitrate is always, always soluble. Therefore, D is wrong because of this precipitate. Let's take a look at E. It's interesting. You see, they have a 
oxide. Negative ion in here. There is no way. Aqueous magnesium nitrate solution. You should only see those three different species. You should never see O2 minus. So therefore, E is also incorrect. Okay, A is the happy answer.